What's up, y'all? Wilson and I are about to go to this food event in the Brooklyn Navy Yard, Heritage Fire. I don't really know what the event is, but we're gonna go check it out, get some free food, get some drinks, and then I think we're gonna go to our rooftop bar after and try to watch the sunset, dance, laugh, have some fun, see some gays. Yeah, that's about it. Let's go. So awful. Very dumb. Like a grandpa. Put that lock. Where's the party, guys? I didn't expect to get so full from such little food. And I thought we'd have to pay for the drinks, but the drinks were free as well. see I got finally finally hooked myself up with this Jeep Wrangler it's not new it's used it has about 57 K miles on it it's a weird feeling to be honest because I worked my ass off for this thing I still feel like I don't deserve it it's a little bit of imposter syndrome going on here but uh yeah it's it's strange when you're an adult and you save up money you buy things for yourself you lose all that money that you were saving but you got what you really wanted and what you were working for for a long time can't even tell y'all how long i wanted a jeep wrangler when i was like eight nine years old i had a little remote jeep wranglers that i'd drive around with my brother and we would always talk about how when we got older we would buy ourselves some jeeps but they got so expensive and it took a long time to be able to save up the money to get myself this. But I finally got it and I feel pretty proud, to be honest. But at the same time, it's a weird feeling. I, I, I still feel like I don't deserve it. Hopefully that feeling fades away. I, um, I'm super hyped. I'm really excited about this because I'm gonna be taking this baby all over the country. I'm gonna take y'all on a lot of different adventures in this thing. I'm really proud of myself, to be honest. It definitely feels different to drive it because I'm so high up compared to my Honda Civic. The Jeep Wave with the two fingers is definitely a thing. 
sun is super bright because it's shining right down on me. I decided to go with the two door because I don't have kids, I don't have a lot of people to drive around in my Jeep, and you know, these two back seats are more than enough. It's just really just gonna be me, it's gonna be Wilson, and my family once in a while, some friends here and there, but I didn't really see the need to get a four door. With parking in New York, it's just like, those four doors take up a lot of space. But this thing is so small, I think it's, it's shorter than my Honda. It fits pretty much anywhere. <laughs> And I'm still getting used to the size because I feel like it's a lot bigger than it is, but it really is, you know, a nice compact vehicle. I had to use the four wheel drive for the first time today when I got stuck in the sand. I wasn't really sure how to do it. I didn't want to break it, but <laughs> I don't think you can really break these that easily. Someone was telling me how they're like Legos. Right now, I'm just gonna take a little time to rebound after putting that huge down payment on. Save a little bit of money before I head out west and do some, some adventuring out there with my drone. As y'all saw in the video, I got a little bit of drone shots today with the Jeep, but it was really hard because it was my first time using the drone and the Jeep at the same time. It's definitely a safety hazard. Sometimes there's these little windows in our lives where you can make something happen that uh, might not be available to you in 10 years, in 20 years. You might not have the money then. So I was really trying to put myself in the mindset of, listen, you've been working hard, you've been wanting this. And I tried to talk myself out of it so many times, but the people around me could hear for years that I've been wanting this thing and I've been pushing towards it. So they wouldn't let me talk myself out of it. They were like, you just gotta do it. My mom was like, now's the time. You never know what's gonna happen in five, 10 years, if I'm gonna go back to school, if I'm gonna be saving for a house or whatever. You know, the money might not be there for a car that I want. At the end of the day, all of these things, these material things don't matter at all. It's really, you know, how we are as people and how we treat others, that's the most important. And I just wanna make sure I remember that and portray that in my channel. It's really important that if you have a goal in your mind, whether that be buying a car or going back to school or, you know, traveling to somewhere. Once you're able to meet that goal, it's really important that you don't back down from it, especially if it's something that you've been wanting for years and years and you think it's gonna help you grow in a certain way. If you back down from that goal, it's just telling yourself that, you know, the goals that you're setting for yourself aren't important. And you know, this is just a car, so it's not that big of a deal. But as I go through my life, I feel like it's a good attitude to make sure that you're meeting the goals. Once you meet those goals, you set new goals to kind of reach for. It is really important to value yourself enough to keep those promises and reward yourself every once in a while when you can, because you can't always do that. And yeah, that's about all I have to say today. I'm gonna head back to my parents' house. We're gonna have a fire and I'm heading back to New York tomorrow. This is a cucumber gin, cucumber vodka. Cucumber vodka with tonic and lime. Okay, it's not bad. It's good. So we are having pizza night here in the household of us, which I was about to say my last name, but I don't want to. My brother is quite the cook, quite the chef, quite the green thumb, all of the above. So he is making us, well, he made this dough from his special recipe and it's homemade. It's gourmet dough. It's like his own recipe. It's just dough. Cheers. Cheers. I need a drink. Do you want me to make you a drink? Okay, I'm gonna. Make you a drink. I'm no, gonna no, make no, another no. drink. I have a beer. So we're gonna put toppings, different toppings on all of our pizzas, and it's gonna be like amazing gourmet, homegrown stuff. Hi, Aro. Okay. Nice. And then these are cilantro right here. So we need that. That would be really good on pizza, huh? What is this? Two years ago? Oh, this is what we can eat. That's spinach. That's the avocado. Mm. Oh. 
fresh basil. Fresh basil grown in the backyard. It smells so good. Radish? <laughs> wow. This is all Oliver. It's all me. He grew all of this shit back here. Don't and what I said. He grew all of this beautiful magic, magic back here. Taste. I feel like a rabbit. It's good, it's mild. This whole garden, all of these plants in our backyard is basically Oliver's work. He has spent years cultivating this garden, creating this magical space, growing all of these herbs and plants. As someone who doesn't know anything about gardening or planting things, it's really amazing and it really kind of opens your eyes to the beauty of nature and the power that we have to create our own food. So it's really cool to me and I'm really proud of Oliver for doing all of this. And I think it's something that he's gonna carry throughout life and it's gonna carry him throughout life. I'm really inspired by it, so I wanted to share it with y'all. This is really beautiful. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. That could do some serious damage to somebody's neck. I followed your direction. 